Hi, this is Previn with Pipedream. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Pipedream to build powerful integrations really quickly. For today's demo, I'll build a workflow that uses pre-built open source components for Twitter and Google Sheets. I'll also add custom Node.js code steps that use Pipedream's integrated authentication and NPM packages, as well as a Python code step that uses a PyPy package. So let's get started. The first thing I need to do is to generate a trigger event to help me build my workflow. Pipedream makes it easy to trigger workflows on HTTP requests, schedules, app events, and more. For today's demo, I'm going to trigger a workflow every time Pipedream's handle is mentioned on Twitter. All I need to do is select a trigger, connect my account, and then enter the keyword that I want to search for. Next, I need to test the trigger to pull in some tweets to help me build my workflow. After testing, I can use the dropdown to select the event that I want to use. The event you select will be used to provide autocomplete suggestions as you build, and it will also provide the input data when testing your workflow. Next, I'll use a pre-built action to send data to Google Sheets. I just need to connect my account and complete the basic configuration. Since my sheet has headers in the first row, the action will automatically generate a form to make it easy to enter that data. For the first column, I'll use data from the trigger context to pass the timestamp when the event is processed by Pipedream. Next, I'll search the object explorer to find the screen name of the user who wrote the tweet. Finally, I'll add double braces to use autocomplete to pass a reference to the full text key from the trigger event. When I'm done, I can simply test the step to validate the configuration. Even though I'm only testing the current step, Pipedream uses the results of previous steps as input data. When the test is complete, Pipedream will display the results. The results show that the test was successful, and I can also validate that the data was entered in Google Sheets. It's also clear that the tweet was not written in English, so let's go ahead and use Pipedream to translate it next. To do that, I'll add a step to my workflow, and I'll search for the Google Translate app. Now, at the time of this demo, there are no pre-built actions for Google Translate, but Pipedream makes it easy to use any API for any integrated app directly in code. All you have to do is connect your account and customize the default code provided by Pipedream. You can use any API that's supported by the app. You can also reference data exported by previous steps directly in code. For this example, I'm going to pass the tweet from the trigger event as the data to translate. Next, I'll test my changes. Since the code returned the response from the API, Pipedream generates step exports. Only data exported from a step can be passed to and used in future steps. The simplest way to export data from a code step is to return it. The data you return will be exported to dollar return value. Now, before I update the action to send the translated text to Google Sheets, I'm going to go ahead and run some code to analyze the sentiment. To do that, I'll add a Node.js code step, customize the name, and then I'll use the npm sentiment package. To use any npm package on Pipedream, simply import it. There's no npm install or package.json required. So to use the sentiment package, I'll import it and then I'll paste in the code that I got from the npm package page. Next, I'll modify the code. I'll return the result of the analyze function so that I can use that data in future steps. Then I'll delete the placeholder text from the code sample and I'll replace it with a reference to the translated tweet. When I test this step, Pipedream will automatically install the npm package I imported. It will also use the translated tweet from the previous step as input data. I'm almost ready to send this data to Google Sheets, but I'm going to add one more code step. I'm going to use Python to do another sentiment analysis. Similar to NPM and Node, you can use any PyPy package on Pipedream by simply importing it. In addition to Node and Python, you can add code steps using Go and Bash. You can also mix and match languages in the same workflow. For this demo, I'm just using a Python example provided by Pipedream. Similar to Node, I can use data exported by previous steps. I just need to import the steps object. When I'm ready, I simply click Test. Pipedream will install the imported packages 
run the step, and display the results. Next, I'll update the data I'm sending to Google Sheets. First, I'll simply paste in the reference to the translated tweet. Next, I'll update my Google Sheet to add two new columns to capture the NPM sentiment and NLTK sentiment. Next, I need to refresh the form in the action to pick up the latest fields. Then, I'll use the Object Explorer to find the data that I want to pass to Google Sheets. I can easily filter the data by the step name. Then, I'll simply select the scores generated by the NPM and NLTK steps. Finally, I'll test the updates to the Google Sheet action. Based on the results, I can see the test was successful and I can validate that the data was inserted in Google Sheets. Now, before I deploy, I want to run one more test. I want to make sure this workflow works with other events, so I'll select a different event from the trigger and then I'll test my entire workflow. Since I'm testing the entire workflow this time, all of the steps will run with my newly selected event. After running the test, I can inspect the results in the builder and validate that the data was inserted into Google Sheets. Now I'm ready to run this workflow on every new tweet. All I need to do is click Deploy. Now that the workflow's live, I'm almost done. I'll go over to Settings to configure Pipedream's queue controls. First, I'll serialize the execution to ensure that only one event is processed at a time. That's important with a destination like Google Sheets to prevent data loss if two events trigger your workflow in parallel. I also enforced a maximum execution rate of one event per second. That will help ensure we don't run into any rate limit issues with the Google Sheets API. Okay, for the last step of this demo, let's go ahead and test this workflow with a live event. I went ahead and retweeted a tweet that mentioned Pipedream. When that event triggered my workflow, it showed up in the event list on the left, and I can select it to inspect the execution. I can also validate that the data was inserted in Google Sheets. I hope this demo has helped you imagine how you might build powerful integrations really quickly with code control when you need it and no code when you don't. To get started, sign up for a free account at pipedream.com. Also, please follow us on Twitter at Pipedream, contribute at github.com slash pipedreamhq, and join us at pipedream.com slash community. We can't wait to see what you build on Pipedream. Thanks for watching.